team first alert weather forecast. Well, you'll want to buckle up for the week ahead as we are in for a roller coaster ride when it comes to our temperatures. Those highs mostly going to be fluctuating between the 30s into the 40s with the exception of Friday. That's where temperatures are actually going to be seasonable for once into the mid and upper 20s. As for the rest of the week, we are going to be considered above average. And here's your first alert to a couple opportunities of at least some minor precipitation. The first of which does look to come late Tuesday night into early Wednesday morning as a clipper type low pressure system does work down from the northwest. And there's going to be a disturbance actually uh, moving to our south and west late Wednesday night into early Thursday. That actually could produce some light snow accumulations that may lead to some impacts for the Thursday morning commute. But keep in mind, we still have a couple days to go. Things can change rather quickly and there's still more questions than answers. So definitely keep it here as we continue to fine tune those details. Take a live look out at Hastings Way tonight from our Nicolay Bank Skycam. It's quiet out there, roadways are dry. Our current temperature at 33 degrees. We are under a mostly cloudy sky. We have some clouds uh, streaming across the Chippewa Valley right now. Southwest wind at seven miles per hour and our dew point is quite dry only at around 18 degrees. All across the area, we have readings from the 20s into the 30s. Uh, 26 right now in La Crosse, they're under a clear sky, 28 in Viroqua, uh, 29 degrees in Medford, 26 in Marshfield, we're at 28 degrees in Hayward, and 33 right now, the current temperature in Chatech. We are already approaching the midpoint of February. Can you believe that? Well, anyways, let's talk about what's been going on here because the start of the month has been very mild for February standards. Keep in mind, our average high this time of year is at 27 degrees. And just a couple of days ago, we were just shy of reaching 60 degrees. Meanwhile, our lowest temperature was 20. That was back on the morning of the 4th. Our average temperature, this is quite impressive for early February, uh, 37 degrees. So we are just over 21 degrees above average month to date. And as far as precipitation, as I'm sure you've noticed, we haven't seen a whole lot of it, only picking up 14 hundredths. That puts us two tenths of an inch under where we need to be and absolutely no snowfall so far. So we're nearly four and a half inches under where we need to be in that department. And there's no snow really uh, through the forecast besides again, maybe uh, Wednesday night into Thursday, but we'll have to watch that for you. Here's a, uh, that uh, cloud cover that I was talking about. Uh, these are going to be in and out of here for tonight. So I am expecting variable cloud cover through the overnight hours as we do kick off the work week tomorrow. We'll have intervals of clouds and sunshine. Our southern areas are going to be mostly sunny throughout the day. The weather does stay quiet into tomorrow night with some clouds around. And then as we head into Tuesday, uh, expect more sunshine and clouds mixing. There could even be some flurries throughout the day there. And then as we head into early Tuesday night, things do stay dry before maybe some snow showers enter the picture late at night and into early Wednesday morning. So for tonight, we are going to drop to a low temperature of 26 as we head into tomorrow. We'll make it up to a high of 40. It will be occasionally breezy from the west northwest at 5 to 15 miles per hour. We're down to 35 degrees on Tuesday. And then for Valentine's Day, we reach back up to around 42. You can see what I mean here by that roller coaster ride by Thursday back down into the mid 30s and only reaching up to around 27 as we round out the week. I feel like there are still ample opportunities to get outside, so I'm looking forward to the week ahead. No, not too bad at all, so definitely enjoy it. Awesome. Thanks so mm -hmm. much, Derek.